Forming back in 2005, the Wonder Years have released four full-length albums as well as two EPs. Their newest effort, The Greatest Generation, is the third in a trilogy. Uh, the first album was called The Upsides, the second one was called Suburbia, I've Given You All, and Now I'm Nothing. Does this album complete the masterpiece of the trilogy? Let's find out. The Greatest Generation starts off with There There. Now this is a bit of a slower song from a pop punk band like The Wonder Years, uh, but you know the instrumentals are still really catchy, the lyrics are meaningful and amazing, and it gets you hooked into the album right away. Two of the first songs that were released from this album to be featured to the fans to listen to uh, were called Passing Through a Screen Door and Dismantling Summer, which are both tracks two and four. Uh, so early on in the first half of this album, you're going to be hooked right away uh, with, you know, upbeat instrumentals and a lot of catchy choruses that really get you hooked onto the CD. Alright, so at about halfway through this album, we get to The Devil in My Bloodstream. Uh, now this song really sticks out, I think it's really unique. Uh, it starts off with a really beautiful piano intro, uh, has soupy on vocals, as well as a female vocalist doing a bit of background sound. And uh, it really makes it stick out, and it's a beautiful song, like I said. Um, and halfway through, it picks up with you know the pop-punk sound that one of yours really grasp and make their own stick out. Uh, and then near the end, they slow back down again, so it goes from slow to upbeat to slow again, which really makes the song stick out. I really enjoy it, and it's definitely a great track to see halfway through the CD. The second half of the album is just as good as the first. I mean, it's a great album overall, uh, so it's definitely hard to pick uh, what tracks stick out best. Uh, but I will say, some of the really good pop-out songs to me are Chaser, An American Religion, and Madeline. Finishing out the album may be the best song on the entire CD, actually. It's called I Just Wanna Sell Up My Funeral. Uh, it is the longest song on this CD, uh, lasting about seven and a half minutes. And um, it's, again, one of the slower songs instrumentally. Uh, just kind of mid-beat, uh, not really fast, not really slow, just kind of going. Uh, lyrically, if you listen, it's really good. Um, just go check out the lyrics, it's really long to explain in the video. But either way, uh, really sticks out as a, you know, a great track. Instrumentally, again, love it. Uh, the slower, not slow, instrumentals are really good. Um, I really like Soupy's vocals on this. You feel a lot more emotion in this song, and uh, it's just a great way to end this CD and hear the emotion behind it and just to hear the last song that ends this trilogy. Really sticks out and really makes this album one of the best in the trilogy, I'll say. Alright, so getting into my thoughts of the album overall, as you saw, I gave a quick, brief explanation of it all. But I will say, in a trilogy, uh, you don't see a lot of bands doing it, but the Wonder Years have done it right. Uh, when they started with the Upsides, it was an album about being young, you know, and, and living life, that kind of thing, and the overall meaning. Uh, the next one, Suburbia, that was kind of a middle age, you know, and then growing up and everything. Um, there's a lot more meaning behind it, but the basis is, uh, first album being young, second one's being middle age, and this is, you know, growing old and finally realizing that's life, you know? Um, hence, I think the last time it's called I Just Want to Sell at My Funeral, you know, it's kind of, I don't know if it's just me, but do you notice that? <laughs> um, this album definitely sticks out. There's no bad album in this trilogy. Uh, I really think that every album has something that stands out. Uh, this album has a lot of great songs. The CD has um, something that sticks out, and uh, any fan of pop punk or fan of good lyrics and, you know, just catchy songs will like the CD. The Wonder Years are definitely at the top of the pop punk chain. You know, if there's a food chain of pop punk, they're like at the top triangle right now, definitely around there with like Newfound Glory and stuff. And this album definitely solidifies them as one of the best in the scene right now. Uh, I think as an overall rating, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of a 10. Uh, almost Perfection, definitely an album you should pick up, buy it. I'll give links down below to Facebook, all that stuff where you can buy the album on iTunes, physical copy. Who knows, whatever your preference may be. Uh, that's about all I had to say for this album, you guys. Uh, this is the second episode of For The Fans. Hope you really dug it. Um, glad you picked this album. Anyone who commented saying they wanted this, I'll link you down below for your YouTube channel. So again, thanks a lot. Tell me what album you want to see next down below. And until I see you next time, it's music for today, music for tomorrow, and music for life. Peace out.